Hey everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm bringing you episode 9 of What the Hell Happened to My Halls. I had a really good time with What the Hell Happened to My Halls in August. I read all but one of the books on my TBR which I was really pleased about. But my feelings on this series and this challenge have changed a little bit over the past couple months when I think I really needed to do mood reading and this challenge has somewhat prevented me from doing that. It's also preventing me um, from having the time to pick up all of the books that I have hauled recently. But in saying that, this challenge has really done what it is supposed to do. It has reignited my excitement for books that have been on my TBR just sitting on my shelves for ages and ages. It made me excited to get to these books and giving me just a massive kick up the bum that I need to read them. Not necessarily that I need to read them but I really wanted to read them when I first bought them and I still really do want to read them, I just kind of forgotten about them. I've decided that I will carry on doing this challenge until the end of the year but after that I'm going to retire it but I do want to replace it with something kind of similar, some sort of motivational reading challenge but I haven't really figured out what I want to do for that yet. If you're new to this channel or if you're new to this series, basically what the hell happened to my hauls is a series where I look back on uh, hauls that I've done in previous years and I try to read the unread books um, from the corresponding month. So in August I tried to read all of the unread books I had left from books that I had hauled in August of previous years and this month I am going to be trying to do the same with books that I hauled in September of previous years. So kicking things off with September 2015, I hauled a whopping 25 books that month. I have read 20 of these and I unhauled quite a few as well and there is some overlap there so I unhauled books that I had read. So Wuthering Heights and Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde were books that I read but unhauled and I have since replaced them with nicer Penguin English Library editions. I read and unhauled Pure, The Talented Mr Ripley, Waterland, The Alchemist. If you watched a video I did recently on uh, popular books that I dislike, you would know that I really didn't like The Alchemist. And also Beginning Theory by Peter Barry, which is a fantastic book. If you're studying uh, literature, I can highly recommend uh, getting your hands on a copy of this book. It's fantastic and it will save your life. There are two books that I unhauled having not read them. One of those was called The Climbing Tree and the other was 500 Words You Should Know. The books that I have read are The Cunning House, uh, quite a lot of the a series of unfortunate events books, so The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austria Academy, The Earthset's Elevator. Uh, I also read Trumpet by Jackie Kay, which is a fantastic book. Um, the Snow Child, uh, Shiver, Red Queen, Only Ever Yours, How To Be Bad and One. So that only leaves me with three books left unread. One of those is The Penultimate Peril, which is another book in the a series of unfortunate events. Um, I have been like gradually rereading all of these. I haven't reread one of them in quite a while. So even though I have read The Penultimate Peril, I'm not counting it as read because like I was a child when I read it and I don't really remember it. But I'm not up to that point in the series in my reread so I'm not going to be reading this one. But the first of the two that I will be reading is The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. This is about a boy named David who is mourning the loss of his mother and he finds um, comfort in the books on his shelves but they begin to whisper to him. David is propelled into a world that features all the fantastical and often times quite scary elements of his favourite books. I love books about books so it's ridiculous that I haven't read this one yet. And the next book I'm going to be trying to read in September is Your Brother's Blood by David Towsey. Now ordinarily this isn't a book that I think I would be drawn to um, but the reason I picked picked this up all those years ago uh, was because David Towsey was one of my lecturers at Aberystwyth University. He was my tutor for a couple of creative writing modules which I thoroughly enjoyed. This is like a literary horror with zombies in it. So yeah, it's not necessarily the type of thing that I would normally read, but I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. Moving on to September 2016, I hauled 13 physical books and I read seven of those. So they were The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto, 
as I lay dying, The Water Babies, The Hostile Hospital, another a series of unfortunate events books. Uh, I read The Cambridge Companion to 20th Century British and Irish Women's Poetry. I read Girl with Green Eyes and I read Burial Rites. There are a couple of books that I unhauled as well, um, The Man in the Grey Flannel Suit, uh, Frog Music and Opal Plumstead. So that leaves me with three unread books again, but again I am going to be discounting one of those, and that is Singing and Swinging and Getting Merry Like Christmas. This is one of Maya Angelou's memoirs, and I do want to read her memoirs in like order. And also, if this book has anything to do with Christmas, I'm gonna want to read it at Christmas. So the first book I'm going to be adding to my TBR that comes from a haul in September 2016, it's Spinster by Kate Bollock. I bought this book on a trip to Chapters, which is my favourite bookstore in Dublin. I went um, with Katie from Katie Loves to Read and Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing, and it felt like a book that I really needed at that time in my life, but then I just didn't read it. And uh, two years later, the time for me to really need this book in my life has come around again. This is basically a piece of cultural criticism that looks at womanhood in the 21st century, what it means for women to have it all, and what it means for women to live independently. Next up we have Beloved by Toni Morrison, and it is ridiculous that I've not read this book yet either. This is one of those books that I think is just like so impressive and literary, like that's what I've heard about it, that I've wanted to be in like the right headspace to be able to fully absorb it. But of course that right headspace never comes along. So I'm definitely gonna make sure I finally get around to reading this one this month. Finally moving on to September 2017, I hauled 10 physical books and I have read seven of those. So the ones that I have read are the illustrated edition of The Chamber of Secrets, The Tidal Zone, Not Working, The End We Start From, The Weight of Water, The Adventure of the Engineer's Thumb and Other Cases, and The Adventure of the Six Napoleons and Other Cases, which are both collections of Sherlock Holmes stories. So that leaves me with three books left unread, which includes another collection of Sherlock Holmes stories, The Five Orange Pips and Other Cases by Arthur Conan Doyle. I did read one collection of Sherlock Holmes stories in August, so I don't know if I'm gonna feel like reading more of them in September, but we shall see. Another classic, we have Evelina by Frances Burney. If you watched my recent video on the classics that I really want to read soon, this was one of the classics I spoke about, so I'm definitely gonna try and read this in September. And finally, we have a collection of poetry, and that is Diving Into the Wreck by Adrian Rich. Poetry collections this slim don't tend to actually stay on my TBR for that long. I do tend to get round to them pretty soon after hauling them, so this one is pretty unusual to show up for this challenge and I will definitely be ticking it off my reading list in September. In the past few months of this challenge I have only been focusing on the physical books on my TBR but I did haul five ebooks in September of 2017 which I will quickly tell you about but they're not a priority for me to be reading this month. They were all sci-fi books uh, so we have Who Runs the World, The Book of Phoenix, Nine Fox Gambit and On the Edge of Gone. Uh, and then one that I did read was The Power by Naomi Alderman. So this is it. This is my TBR for what the hell happened to my hauls in September. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. Also, if you are interested in hearing anything more about them, there will be links to them in the description. The links in the description are affiliate links and if you buy anything from the book depository through my affiliate links, I will be donating my commission to the Alzheimer's Society because I'm doing some fundraising for them. And if by any chance you are interested in directly donating to my fundraising, that link will be down below as well. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a brilliant day and I will talk to you in my next video.